Hello, hope you're doing well. This is going to be my New York City Stationery Fest vlog video. I do have a haul that I'm gonna be posting on a Sunday. My voice also sounds really weird because I am not used to talking so much especially for three days straight so um, I'm still trying to kind of get my voice back. To give a little bit of context, I was representing my own business and I had a vendor booth at the stationery fest so um, obviously it was very busy and I couldn't really vlog the event very much so if you came across this video in hopes of learning more about the stationery fest itself I wouldn't really recommend this video to be honest but if you're wanting to see a little bit of the behind the scenes as a vendor then Hopefully you enjoy this. So my family and I flew from Vancouver. The entire trip was honestly a little bit cursed. Uh, my mom ended up tripping at the airport and then we had issues with the eSIM and then I think um, traffic from New Jersey to New York was just very very bad. So we ended up arriving at the venue very late and we just spent all night setting everything up, all of the shelves and products and signs and stuff. I of course had a plan of where everything was going to go, but until you actually get there and put everything together, it's very hard to fully stick to the plan and you have to do a lot of last minute maneuvering. All of the other tables were so beautiful, so I also did take a little walk around. Anyways, the next day we woke up really early and went to this um, Colombian cafe. I got an espresso and we headed to the venue. The day we landed, we got most of the prep work done, but we didn't finalize everything. So we just did some last minute changes and I also, I also walked around a little bit to look at the other um, vendor tables. This is where I have to apologize to my sister and my parents who you can kind of see in the clips. I was just a ball of stress, especially coming off the birthday sale and I was just snapping at everyone and honestly, a total B word. I did apologize to them, but I'm going to apologize to them again. There's a line outside. We're about to let them in. There are 400 people waiting outside. They're ready to get in. And this event is going to be successful. Thank you all. Hello, I am back at the hotel. First, want to say a huge thank you to everyone who made who stopped by my whatchamacallit my table it's currently eight o'clock and i have only had two espresso shots today so i'm a little bit tired my dear family is getting me food soon so i'm just waiting for that but um anyways um thank you to everyone who uh made the effort to stop by it did get a little bit crazy, um, especially near the beginning. Um, there was like a big lineup, long lineup. I think some of the um, line was blocking the other vendors. So we had to implement a queue system. And I know it was, it was very crazy and not ideal, um, but I I don't know. I, I really tried my best. I'm so sorry. So day one was a little bit overwhelming to say the least. By the end of the day, I didn't really want to go out for dinner or have anything too greasy. So I ended up just having the same salad as the day we landed. Then it was on to day two and I picked up a few snacks and we headed back to the venue. On this day, my sister my mom and my dad flew back early and my good friend Helen from Toronto, she flew into New York just to help me and I am forever thankful for her. I think most of you had interactions with her and she is just 
a ball of sunshine. For day two, um, I did change up a few things about my table setup just to ensure that things ran a little bit more smoothly and also implementing more limits so that stock would last longer. I really didn't want people who are coming on Friday to just come to a completely empty table. So yeah, um, I really tried my best. Stamp or something, no pet stamp. Oh, yeah. Um, I think somebody probably stole it or something. <laughs> I, and I also just like brought a bunch of extra stamps as well. His, his yeah. Sorry. Uh, look at that. Okay, we are back at the hotel. I wanted to thank everyone who came around and brought me snacks and foods and gifts, especially after hearing about what happened yesterday. Thank you so, so much, everyone. It really means a lot. And um, I actually cried like three times today. And I think a lot of people saw that. So I'm really sorry. But um, yeah, just thank you again. I am going to eat some dinner and uh, reply to some emails and see all of your Facebook posts. Currently, I am just responding to some stuff. And if you recall, I got this grilled turkey patty in the morning at like, what was it, like 8 o'clock? Yeah. Yeah, like 8 in the morning. And I intended to have this for lunch, but it has been sitting in my bag until until 8.25 p.m. So it's been 12 and a half hours. The question is, do I still eat this? It smells good. And to be honest, if I get food poisoning, I don't think I would mind at this point, so. <laughs> so, I think I'm gonna eat this. This is the same salad that I've been having for three days. And I think it has been the same guy making the salad. So he probably recognizes my order because it is very particular. So I'm just gonna pop this 12 hour old <laughs> turkey patty inside and munch away while I respond to some emails. Okay, on to day three, which was the last day of the festival. I wore this fancy white dress and we decided to wake up early and get some journaling and planning done at um, the food market with some coffee. I had a very emotionally taxing first two days so for day three i just wanted to enjoy it and just go into it with a calm mindset so honestly just taking a few moments to play with my stickers and write in my journal was very very helpful at the venue for day three once again i changed up a few things about the setup just to fit the things that we were offering and I honestly lost count of how many cups of coffee I had on the say but um because I was a little bit more confident I guess I had more time to visit the other vendor stalls in Italy who's done some great work in theories which is like a, a return to this yes. This is my fourth meal in New York City and guess what? <laughs> I have the exact same salad that I've been having for the past four days. I'm so sorry, my, my voice is basically gone. Um, and this morning I got another turkey burger thinking that I would eat it for lunch but it has been sitting in my, my um, tote bag for the past 12 hours so I'm gonna risk it again. Once again, oh my gosh, so many people came around and brought me snacks and refreshments and food, so thank you so much. The sweetest group of girls came around. Um, I think they said they watch my videos every Sunday and they got me these energy balls. I forgot what they were called, but they smell really good and I'm gonna have this for dessert. I still have a very...
I still have a very long night ahead of me because I have a lot of emails to respond to. I have an entire tote of beautiful, beautiful things that um, I have purchased and also some of the other vendors have gifted me. And uh, I, I have so many things. And I think I'm going to open them all when I get home and then I will do a grand haul because currently my headspace is not very good and I and the lighting's very bad so I want to be able to show you all the amazing items in their truest best form so I will I will catch up with you guys in a bit but for now I'm gonna eat and respond to emails my shirt today has some sardines on it that is how crazy I am So for day four, I really wanted to take it easy. I know when you're in New York, you're supposed to just like do all of these fun things and shop around, but I honestly couldn't. Um, again, I kind of lost my voice and also my feet were killing me. So I, I went back to the Colombian cafe to do some work and then I stopped by a bookstore quickly, grabbed some lunch at Sweet Green, and then I also got some more work done. Something that I didn't know is in the US, the elevators don't have button 13 because it's an unlucky number. I had no idea this was a thing and I thought it was fascinating. Anyways, after, after lunch, I wanted to go to this place called No Stress Coffee, which I thought was very fitting for me, but I saw that they only had like two seating spaces and I wanted to camp out at a cafe for like hours, so I kind of felt bad and I ended up going to Paris Baguette. And then just for consistency, I got the exact same salad that I've been having every single day. Okay, I think I'm pretty much all packed. Um, as you can see, I still have some empty spaces. This is where I have to say, you guys basically completely sold me out at the event, which is just amazing. Thank you so, so much again. And because of that, I have some space to um, buy some gifts for my friends and family and I will just stuff it in the empty spaces. So that is what I'm gonna do now. Thank you guys again so much. On the last day, my flight was at 5 or 6 p.m. So I had a little bit of time. I just went to Paris Baguette to get some work done and also stop by Trader Joe's. I just got back and I have about an hour to finish packing up before I have to check out of my hotel. I made another trip to Trader Joe's because I still have some space in my suitcase and I want to get some gifts for my friends. And us Canadians, unfortunately, we don't have Trader Joe's. So I got another chopstick. These are super seedy cheese snack bites waffle cone tips filled with dark chocolate. These are crispy onion chips, little packs of the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. I also got another pack of the just mango, um, dry mangoes. I thought my mom would really like these, so we have that. And then I just have some grilled chicken breast, which I'm gonna have later. 